My mother and father immigrated here from China over 20 years ago and knew little to no English. This resulted in them working labor-intensive jobs that took big tolls on their body. I would come home from school to find my mother rubbing Chinese ointment on my father's shoulder and my father applying medicine patches to my mother's back. I was always taught that higher education was my ticket out. It was a way to ensure a life that wasn't like my mother's and father's. One of the reasons I want to pursue college is to give my mother and father a better life. A life where after I can financially help them, they don't have to worry about anything. Before the pandemic, challenges were mostly financial. My mother held a job as a seamstress, whereas my father held a job as a carpet installer. And these jobs are very labor intensive and require very long hours, and I didn't really get to see them very often. I was always very grateful for my mother and my father. It was our living situation and their struggle to provide for me and my brother that continues to motivate me. Before COVID-19, I unfortunately lost my home due to a roof fire at the time due to my parents having limited English speaking abilities. I had to take over as the leader of my family. After a long day of school, I would research about places to rent in San Francisco. I would translate documents for my parents, such as leases. I would also become the main communicator with Section 8 and other organizations that were supporting us during our period of homelessness. After being homeless and couch surfing for well over a month, I was able to finally obtain a roof over our heads and that has got to be one of the most proudest moments of my entire life. In sixth grade, I was about 11 years old when I moved to San Francisco with my stepfather. And it finally had gave me hope that I was gonna have a steady father figure in my life, which I was wrong. After my sister was born, he started to drink very heavily. He became abusive to my mother, me and my sister. And this did have an extremely negative impact on my mental health. And although depression has taken a major toll on my life, I have never allowed it to interfere with my schooling. I've been a 4.0 student my whole life. And even during my worst years, my grades have always been excellent. During the pandemic, the surge in Asian hate crimes has definitely affected my family and me. Being fully Chinese, there's no way for us to really hide our race to avoid being targeted or anything. So every time I see a headline like, Asian man robbed in Chinatown. I imagine my grandparents, my family, or even myself in that position. I'm a co-founder of my school's student activist club where we hold meetings every week to discuss current events. To kind of tackle this problem, in the past few weeks, we've discussed what to do if you witness a hate crime and how to help victims. Additionally, my club and I are planning a fundraising event where we will donate all proceeds to anti-Asian American Pacific Islander hate organizations. More recently, I founded Operation Start. That's basically uh, online bulletin that will help provide more accessible opportunities for youth so it will spread the awareness of the many opportunities that are available in San Francisco but that aren't heard of in San Francisco and the main reason why I actually did this was a personal struggle that I had. I had this struggle just last year where I couldn't find any good enrichment opportunities and opportunities like internships, volunteer experiences that I could just be a part of and gain experience for the future. And I feel like a lot of first generation don't know that that's something that's very crucial. Receiving this award will mean a lot to me because I want to attend college. I want to make an impact in my community and attending colleges will be the only way for me to pursue my dreams and also make a change in my community because I will be able to acquire a lot of skills. I would like to be an immigration lawyer because my experience witnessing the lesson around me awake in me my desire of justice and equality for all races in this society. I know like that college will be really challenging for me because of the fact that English is not my first language, but I will use all the resources that the university provides me in order to have outstanding performance in class. The other day, I overheard my parents talking to each other about money. In their conversation, my mom told my dad, what should we do? We don't have the funds to pay for a college tuition. It was a sad truth, and I knew that from that point, I had to take my own course of action if I wanted to go to college. So with that being said, I really hope that I can have the opportunity to be recipient because it hurts to know that by me going off to college, I'll be putting my parents 
in a financially burdening place. Not only will the scholarship provide me with financial security, but it'll also help my family as well. Living in one of the most expensive cities in the nation, finances are not easy. My parents struggle to pay food, rent, and other medical expenses for our family of nine. Thus, the last thing I would want to do is create another financial burden for them. This way, my parents will be able to encourage my education while also supporting my financial decisions. At the age of five, my parents were incarcerated. Due to their incarceration, it left my siblings and I into the foster care system. After living with my parents again, about a year after, um, they filed for divorce and my dad was able to get custody. We had nothing when we left and it forced my dad and I um, jumping around from homeless shelter to homeless shelter. Pursuing higher education, as cliche as it sounds, it's my only way out. This scholarship would give me the money and give me the support and it's an honor to be given this opportunity to even apply to this scholarship and make my dream a reality. So once again, thank you so much.